What's up guys? It is now December, meaning it is Christmas time. This is my absolute favorite time of the year. I love it. And, uh, you know, uh, just a couple of quick little updates. I'm not going to really get into it here. I'm going to probably do an update video. But just to let you know, uh, and I usually don't explain why I haven't done videos. I mean, you know, it's, I don't apologize for not doing videos because it's, it's like, you know, I, I do have a life, believe it or not. But, um, I have recently, ouch, I have a chipped tooth and it hurts like a bitch. But, um, I've recently started working at a part-time job and it's a, it's a good job. I'm not going to get into it here. But, um, that kind of has prevented me from making a lot of videos. Um, but I'm okay with that, you know, I'm making a little bit of money, being able to buy some stuff, being able to go see a few movies in theaters, and I can get gifts this year for, for my family, so I'm excited about that. But uh, anyway, th that's not what we're here for. This is the, the stuff movie watching vlogs. You're here to, to know what I saw in the month of November, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, I saw a, a decent amount of films, but because, you know, I'm working more, um, or I'm actually working, um, didn't see more, I, I didn't see as no, I, I saw enough, let me just get into it. Uh, first, we, uh, first film I saw, uh, continuing with the Gone series, the Gone Thon, License to Kill, and you know what? It's funny how uh, back in 89 it was considered to be the, the darkest Bond ever, but um, watching it now, it no, it's it's still, it's just your average Bond movie. Not to say that it's bad, because I really like that one, I've always liked that one. Um, it's a great adventure, it's entertaining, entertaining throughout. Um, Robert Davi is a great villain, Benicio Del Toro is a good uh, henchman, Timothy Dalton was great. Uh, it's it's just a fun adventure film. Uh, the only thing that makes me shake my head is when he pops the, when he's driving that semi and he pops the wheelie. That's kind of, yeah, but um, that's, that's what I saw. Uh, on the second, this was cool. I uh, had a double feature in the theaters. I took my niece to, to the movies. Uh, I had just gotten paid and I was excited. So we went to go see Wreck-It Ralph. And uh, you know, I, I, I almost regret not reviewing that. But as much as I really liked it and I thought it was adorable and hilarious and fun, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. Um, there's certain things that I would like to say, but I don't want to spoil nothing. But I really, really enjoyed that movie a lot. And I can't wait till it's on Blu-ray, because it's one of those animated movies that, you know, it, it doesn't... It's not the greatest, but it's so much fun that you could just watch it over and over again. At least, you know, to me, I liked it that much. And then the movie we saw afterwards was The Man, the Man with the Iron Fist. Now, me personally, I like that movie. I love Kung Fu movies. Uh, even though this movie w was not perfect, uh, not by a long shot, it's heavily flawed. Um, it's fun. It's bloody. It's violent. Um, and I liked it. I, I, I did actually review that one for the Reader Film channel, so if you want to go check that out, go ahead. I, I went into, yeah, I went pretty in-depth on that one. But uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, then I came home, continued the Bond series with GoldenEye, one of my absolute favorite James Bond movies ever. That movie, uh, that I would have to say made me a genuine Bond fan. Because, you know, I grew up with all the previous films, but that one showed me that Jesus Christ, James Bond can be a badass. And that movie still holds up well. It's so highly entertaining. I, I, I love that one. A uh, couple of days passed. I think I would. Uh, and I didn't see anything. So on the 5th, um, 
because Skyfall was approaching, I had to really haul ass with uh, the Bond series, so I saw three Bond movies. Pretty much all the rest of the uh, Brosnan uh, Bond films. So I saw Tomorrow Never Dies, which to me is one of my personal favorites. I know it's not a great film, but it's one of my personal favorites. The action is... It's, it's so vast. There's so much action in that movie that it's so... It's like an adrenaline rush. Um, I really enjoy that one a lot. I like the villain. I like the story. It's silly, but I like it. It's just... It, it's a great Bond movie, in my opinion. So then followed it up with uh, The World Is Not Enough, which... Um, you know, it's, it's still a good movie. I'll, I'll give it credit. I think it's, it's thrilling... Uh, the, you got Denise Richards as that nuclear scientist, and that's, that's pathetic, and her, her acting is terrible. But the other Bond girl, uh, Sophie McCool, I, I don't know her name, she's freaking pretty, she's a pretty woman. But, uh, you know, it's an entertaining movie, very flawed, at times dull. Robert Carlyle, I like him as the villain. But, um, yeah, it's, I, I like that one still. But then we go to Die Another Day. Die Another Day. Now, that movie is just bullshit. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a cartoon. Seriously, it's, the CGI is so terrible. And the, uh, the fucking Madonna song. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <clears throat> oh, and as if three movies wasn't enough for that day, I had to do it. I had to watch it. Remember, remember, the 5th of November, I had to see V for Vendetta. Such a brilliant movie. I don't watch that movie enough. It's such a good movie. Um, the next day, I watched Casino Royale. And, uh, God, man, it's still a great movie. I mean, it... When it came out, you know, everyone was on such a high from that movie. And uh, that's a high I've never, you know, came down from. That's an awesome freaking movie. Daniel Craig is awesome. I mean, I don't have to really explain it. It isn't a good... It, it's a good film. Um, then, uh, on the 7th, I don't, I don't know why I'm reading off the dates, but... On the 7th... I was fortunate enough to hang out with, with my buddy Joe Corwell, known on YouTube as Corwell3. Um, a freaking awesome guy if you haven't subbed to him. But if you subbed to me, you're more than likely subbed to him. Uh, he's such an awesome guy. We went to a, a screening. It was actually the AFI um, Film Festival. And we got in to see a movie called The ABCs of Death. And it comes out later... It comes out, I think, in February, I'm not sure, and uh, I was going to review it, but, you know, no time. Um, I have time, I just didn't want to do it. Um, that's a fucked up movie. If you want a fucked up horror anthology, that's, it don't get worse than that. I mean, you know, I thought VHS was pretty insane, but no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's. It's uh, basically a collection of short films, and they all pertain to the letter of the alphabet, you know. The, a death, a certain death is, you know what I'm saying, ABCs of death, you can kind of figure out what it is, you know. It's a gross-ass movie, but it's, it's okay, so I, I'm going to have to try to review that one. Uh, the next day I saw Quantum of Solace, and I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That's a good movie. It's flawed. It's fuck. It's 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 written. The thing about it, I don't know if anybody knows this, but the movie had some major production problems during the making of it. There was a writer's strike. The famous writer's strike that happened, and that movie suffered because of that one. They resolved the, stri the strike, and they had to rush that movie out. 
so they couldn't really tell the story that they wanted to. And yes, as a follow-up to Casino Royale, it's not great, but it's an entertaining film. Uh, and I, I'm sick and tired of people saying, oh, it's, it's not a Bond movie, it's not like a Bond movie. Dude, or, or it's a terrible Bond movie. It's like, have you seen The Man with the Golden Gun? Dying of the Day? Most of Roger Moore's Bond movies? Quantum of Solace is an entertaining film. Great action. Just very entertaining. I like it. Sorry to go off on a rant, but, you know, I gotta speed this up now because of that one. I saw a movie called Murders, which is a French, yeah, a French horror film. That is a fucked up movie. I'm spitting, sorry. Okay, that's, okay, whatever. <laughs> that, that movie is fucked. I mean, it's good. It, oh my god, I felt, wow, it left a very... It, it, I, I still don't know how to feel about that movie. I don't want to really explain it. I, I can't say I recommend it unless you really want to be in you know, a foul mood afterwards because it, it's, it's so graphic and disturbing, shocking. It's But there's a reason for it. I do like that. There's a reason for the torture that they show and the, the violence. There's a reason for it. So... Uh, it's, yeah, oh my god, wow. Well. And then finally, Skyfall! Yes! I did review that one. And I gotta tell you, I, I still, I wanna see that movie again. I wish I could go see it again. But god damn it, man. If it, I hate to be cliche and say it's the best Bond movie ever, but it's kinda hard not to say it's the best Bond movie ever. I mean, with Casino Royale, and the movie nerd Kevin said this, he said this perfectly, Casino Royale, though it was a good movie, a great movie to many, it took the fun out of Bond. Well, this one gives you that seriousness of, of Casino Royale, but it also gives you the fun factor back. It's such a great, great movie, and you know a lot of people call it the Dark Knight, uh, the Dark Knight of the Bond series, and it's kind of hard to disagree, um, because there's certain things about it that really just like, wow, I can't believe this is in a Bond movie. So, Skyfall, man, I I really loved that film, and, and I'm sorry, this one, this, this video is going to turn out long, and I apologize, I'm just, I feel very talkative, uh, today, because I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm working now, and it's such a great feeling, you know, but anyway, let's we'll, we'll speed this up, okay, I watched Thor, my niece wanted to watch Thor, so we watched it, and I still really enjoy that movie, it's, it's a g really good film, uh, it's so funny, and I, I like the the relationship with Portman and, and Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, I like that. I like that movie. I saw The Watch, which is the one about the neighborhood watch and the aliens with uh, Jonah Hill, Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, and uh, I did not like it. I didn't like it. I thought it was... Uh, all, all it has is sex jokes, and I don't mind sex jokes, but when that's it, it's not funny. And uh, I didn't find it that enjoyable. It was okay at, at, you know, at times, but I just didn't really like it that much. And this is kind of funny. <laughs> I watched The Watch, and then the next day, I, I swear I didn't do this on purpose. Maybe I did. End of Watch. Holy shit, that was a good movie. That was a really great movie. I That's a must-own for me. I really highly enjoyed that movie. Jimmy Hall was great. Michael Benio was great. Um, Oscar Woody, I wouldn't say that, but just a damn good film. I, I liked it so much. Uh, I bought Brave. I was so happy to actually buy a new movie. I bought Brave. 
watched it, and I know a lot of people didn't really, they liked it, but you know, everybody says it's not the best Pixar movie. It's not. But it's a really sweet movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's kind of, it's a good mother-daughter movie. Um, it's funny, it's entertaining, I, I did, I liked it. Um, oh, I saw a movie called Safety Not Guaranteed with the Ugly Plaza. Oh god, I love her, she's so cute. Um, great, great time travel movie. Great dramedy, great, it, it's, it's a clever movie, it's a great, it has a great indie film, because it's an indie movie. I highly enjoyed that movie. That movie was so funny and quirky. I, oh god, I gotta get that movie. I gotta get, I'll probably put that on my Christmas list. Um, and then I saw Seeking a Friend, it's, what is it? Seeking a Friend for the End of the World with uh, Steve Carell and Kira Knightley. And I gotta say, that movie touched me, you know? That movie, you know, it had like an odd start, but then once it got, you know, once it took off with, with uh, Carell and, and Knightley, the relationship that builds with those two, it's very touching, and I really enjoyed that movie. Uh, okay, I didn't enjoy this movie. Iron Sky. It's, uh... I don't know much about it. I, I heard something to the effect that it was, uh... It's, it, it's a low-budget movie, but it had a campaign online that got the movie released. And, uh, I don't know, it's basically about Nazis from the moon. And I thought that would have been awesome. But, um, even though, you know, it had some decent effects, it had some commendable things about it, I just didn't think it was that good. I didn't have that much fun with it. Um, I, did, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I can barely even remember it now. So, that was kind of disappointing. Yep, I saw the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2. Jesus. And it's a long story as to why I went to go see it. But basically, in a nutshell, I went to go with... I saw it with my sister and my oldest niece. And um, I went because of her. She didn't want to see it because she, want, she didn't want to disappoint her mother. So I went as support with, uh, my niece. Now, to be honest, it's not awful. In fact, it's actually entertaining at times. Seeing Bella as a vampire and st instead of some stupid, clueless teenager, it's actually more entertaining. Um, and, and seeing all the powers from these vampires, it, it makes me laugh, because it's like, the hell is this? I, X-Men first class, but, um, it was okay, except for one thing at the end that just completely killed it all for me, and, uh, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about, um, so, yeah, it's, it, I almost want to give it a positive rating, but no, not quite, but it's not an awful movie, it's not. Saw The Expendables 2, I bought that on Blu-ray, got so excited, and um, I, I, I was excited because I, I thought it was so bad because I couldn't take my youngest niece to go see it. She was in school, and my dad and I went to go see it, and she was so disappointed, and I thought real bad, so I told her, as soon as it comes out on Blu-ray, I am buying it. Got it, we watched it, and we had so much fun. And you know what's so great about Expendables 2? Expendables 1, I like the movie, um, but with repeated viewings, I see so many things that I don't like. Expendables 2 was, a was actually more enjoyable the second time around, and I can, I, I think that with more viewings of it, I'm, it, not, I'm not gonna dislike it. It's, it's such a better movie. It, you cannot deny it's a better film. I, I kind of want to watch it now. Okay, we went to the movies on Thanksgiving weekend with my whole family. We went to go see Lincoln. 
Now, as I got me doing LinkedIn, and I'm, I still like, I don't have nothing new to say. I really, really enjoyed, enjoyed it. Ah, fucking tooth. I enjoyed it. The acting was superb. James Spader was the highlight. It's so, it's, it, for a Spielberg film, it's so, uh, what's the word? I don't want to say tame. Um... It's not glossy, it's not glamorous, it's it's kind of gritty, you know? Not gritty like, you know. I'll do a re I'll review it so I can explain, but I really enjoyed it. It was a very good movie. Um, and Daniel J. Lewis was inspiring. He was so damn amazing. Uh, a couple of days later, we went, I took my nieces and my sister to go see Rise of the Guardians. And I really enjoyed it. I really, really did. Uh, very cute movie, very funny, very clever. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to review it, because I think I just said everything I had to say about it. Hugh Jackman as a bunny, Alec Baldwin as Santa Claus, I mean, awesome, awesome stuff. Don't know what else to add to it, I liked it a lot. Okay, I saw a movie, I don't know if it's called Miss Bella or Miss Baja. It's... It's, uh, my dad just slid a DVD underneath my door, at the crack of my door, and it freaked me out. This is why I just paused there for a second. He, he freaking, uh, ah, I can't reach it. Ah, I can't. <laughs> he, he's, he's actually watching the Bond series now. He slid this underneath my door. It's, it's a thin case, which is why it... Okay, I'm getting off topic. What, what, oh, yeah, um, Miss, I think it's Miss Bala. Bala, 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 I don't know. It's a Mexican movie. Um, good film. Slow at times. Um, the movie's about a, a woman who wants to provide for her family, and she, she wants to enter a beauty pageant. Uh, but she somehow gets caught up with, uh, working with the, uh, the Mexican drug cartel. So, yeah. Good movie, well filmed, uh, just at times very dull, very depressing, but it's a good film, good independent movie. Um, and, uh, I, yeah, it was, it, it's a good movie, good movie. Now, here's a movie that wasn't good. At least in my, I don't know how this movie has a fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but it does. Premium Rush with Joseph Gordon-Levitt on a bike. I did not like that movie. I mean, it was entertaining, it was fast-paced, but seriously, I thought it was dumb. The story sucked. They, um, I, I just, I thought it was so dumb. And... Talk about anticlimactic. I, I, I didn't care for it. It was okay in certain parts, but no, not really. Two more movies. Um, I saw Lawless, which is uh, with Tom Hardy and Shia LaBeouf and Jessica Chastain. I actually really enjoyed it. I know some people were very mixed on it. I enjoyed it. I love gangster films. I love crime uh, films, movies that take place in the 30s, when you have Tommy Guns and stuff like that. Actually, there wasn't that many Tommy Guns in that movie. That's, I oh, forget it then, that movie sucks. No, I liked that movie a lot. It was a very good movie. Well acted, well shot, everything it was entertaining. Um, some people say it's slow. Yeah, it was kind of slow, but yeah, I was intrigued. I liked it. Uh, Shia LaBeouf was kind of a pussy, but that, that was the character he played, you know? Though I can't imagine Shia LaBeouf as a badass ever. But uh, Tom Hardy was great. My biggest complaint about that movie is that everybody talks so damn low that I almost turned on the subtitles. Then I saw, I actually got this from my sister. I was going to give it to her for Christmas, but I was like, nah, you know what, let me just give it to her now. And I wanted to see it too. Sparkle. Sparkle. 
Yes, the one with Jordan Sparks and Whitney Houston. Let me tell you something. I like those kind of movies. I love, you know, like a movie like The Five Heartbeats. Um, I'm trying to think of another one. Just movies about musical dramas, you know. I'm not talking about musicals. Musical dramas, you know, a, a, a band that, you know, gets together, you know, humble beginnings, the rise, the fall, the triumphant return, that type of shit. Always cliche, always predictable. Sparkle is no damn different, but it is entertaining. I highly enjoyed it. I loved the music of it. Um, you know, Whitney Houston, you know, Rest in peace, whatever. She did a great job with that. Some people criticize Jordan Sparks. I thought she was cute. I thought she gave a cute performance. Uh, the the actress, her name is Carmen Allegro or something like that. She plays sister in the movie. She was damn good. All the performances were energetic, and it was just a really. It looked great. The 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 eye candy in that movie is great. You know, it takes place in the '60s, so you have a lot of bright colors and everything. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a sweet little movie. Highly flawed. It gets pretty crappy in some places. Not all dramatic and everything, but I, in the end, I liked the film. I really did. So, if you like, you know, musical dramas, uh, especially those that star an all-black cast, definitely check it out. I, you know, give it a shot. Critics are not too kind to that movie, but critics are assholes. It's a good movie. So, anyway, that's it. I am sorry that this video has turned out so long, but, um, you know, hopefully I was detailed enough with the movies that I, that I read off to you. And, um, we'll see what happens next month, you know, we'll see how many movies uh, I see. I'm not, I'm not exactly off to a great start, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'll, look, I'll catch you guys, uh, I don't know, I'll see you when I see you. I'll try to make some videos, you know, but no promises. I got, I got stuff to do. I got life. I'm living life. I'm happy. So, in case I don't, I'm not going to say in case I don't see you. No, I'm, I'm going to make more videos. So, um, anyway, this this is the part of the video, of, of this segment that I hate, because I never know how to end it. I feel like I have to say something, but uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I know some of you guys... No, okay, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Bye. I will catch you guys later. Peace. Watch out the time.